Welcome to the President's Diary, a weekly program where we highlight the work of His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali. We begin on Tuesday when His Excellency was engaged in discussions with Chair of the Foreign Affairs Committee of the United States House of Representatives, Gregory Meeks, on several areas of mutual interest to both countries. The meeting underscored the importance of issues such as climate change, COVID-19 vaccine distribution, and economic growth and energy initiatives that will benefit the Guyanese people. On Wednesday, President Ali expressed sadness at the passing of Mr. Lennox Canterbury, former director of the Marsh Secretariat. In a release, the head of state called Mr. Canterbury his dear friend and said that he was deeply saddened to learn of his passing. Dr. Ali said Mr. Canterbury was a true nationalist and would be greatly missed. The president extended condolences to his family during this time. Also on Wednesday, President Ali delivered a keynote address to the 10th Caribbean Urban Forum, CUF. Dr. Ali says plans for urbanization must be linked to the UN's Sustainable Development Goals to ensure citizens' quality of life. The president shared this view during his keynote address to the 10th Caribbean Urbanization Forum. This virtual event was held under the theme, Urbanization, Processes, Policies and Emerging Challenges. How we respond to urbanization will undoubtedly determine the quality of life of our citizens and whether we achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. And I want to pause here. Urbanization must be linked to the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. There must be a common pathway through which urbanization reflect the attainment of the SDGs. While it is not unusual for us to look outside of the Caribbean for solutions, many of those solutions already exist right here at home. Between 1992 and 2011, the degree of urbanization reduced continuously. The president said Guyana's success during this period was not accidental, but by design. Those efforts saw over 100,000 house lots being distributed and housing schemes developed as new growth poles. The examination of new growth poles, the features of new growth poles, and the opportunity new growth poles offer us as urban and regional planners cannot be understated. The SDGs are a collection of 17 interlinked global goals designed to be a blueprint to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all. The SDGs were set up in 2015 by the UN General Assembly and are intended to be achieved by the year 2030. Meanwhile, the President also told the Urbanization Forum of the government's plans for the ambitious Wales Development Authority. The Wales Development Authority will be able to distinguish itself as the industrial center of the Caribbean. It will be established on the west bank of the county of Demerara to bolster industrial, manufacturing, and warehousing activities and generate not only much needed employment across the different enterprises that will fall under its purview, but indirect employment as well. The head of state said the government has a vision to transform depressed rural areas into new urban growth centers. This could be achieved through investments by a facility like the Wales Development Authority. The oil and gas sector will bring with it many opportunities in industrialization and manufacturing. Two areas that are critical in job creation, but two areas that also brings with it tremendous challenge in planning. In terms of the environment, in terms of settlements, and access to waterfront areas. The Wales Development Authority will be the zone where the gas to shore pipeline will terminate and the gas powered energy plant would be built. The Guyanese leader encouraged the University of Guyana and the University of the West Indies to be a part of this transformational agenda. As Guyana continues to mitigate the effects of flooding, President Ali on Wednesday ordered an immediate review of all service and maintenance government contracts. This includes those for drainage pumps, sluices, cokers, and drainage and irrigation. The task will be spearheaded by Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs, Honorable Mahabir Anil Nanla, Senior Counsel. President Ali has asked that penalty clauses be enforced against contractors who breach obligations under those contracts. Where penalty clauses are missing, President Ali has instructed that the contracts be renegotiated to include penalty clauses to hold contractors accountable for failure to discharge their duties. Dr. Ali has responded to calls from opposition leader Honorable Joseph Harmon for the use of the Sputnik V vaccine to be halted amidst unsubstantiated claims about its safety. 
The president says his administration's only interest is to safeguard the lives of Guyanese and his government will do everything in its power to do so. Whilst I'm sure that if one is to examine the statement by Mr. Harmon in relation to the Sputnik vaccine, dissuading Guyanese from taking the Sputnik vaccine, you would find it to be self-serving, shamefully reckless, selfish, and against the interests of Guyana and Guyanese. This is a man who shamefully tried to steal an election some months ago. This is a man who himself took the Sputnik vaccine. President Ali reiterated that the government will spare no effort to protect its citizens. There is no cost to protecting the lives of Guyanese. And that is the only interest of the government. That is my only interest. The president has urged the population not to fall prey to what he describes as the self-serving interests of the opposition leader. To heed the cause of the Ministry of Health, heed the cause of scientists, heed the call of the scientific community, heed the call of doctors, and get vaccinated. Get vaccinated. I implore you, please, my Guyanese brothers and sisters, vaccination is, is, is an essential part of the struggle against COVID. It protects you, it protects your family, and it gives us an opportunity to get out of this pandemic. Please, get vaccinated. This has been The President's Diary, where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Muhammad Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thanks for watching. Join us again next week.